Hello everyone, me phone 4 here on Sunnet Beast and welcome back to another game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of NHL 23 on EA Sports. With the last game turned out to be extension run. As I've already did make this win a great game for the Rangers to pick up a huge start. They have turned out to be one of the successful of the teams, the biggest team that they ever played. But the Devils decided that they want revenge. Their team is just definitely a killer. That's their rival matchup there, Devils. We never get to appreciate if there are any broken up or disregulation or try to taunt the players right in between on ice. And so do fans. But with that being said, the next matchup is not a rival matchup. It's now the, one of the tougher teams that will be playing the Eastern Conference in the game. By the Metropolitan Division, we have is the New York Islanders, back in again, to face against the Carolina Hurricanes. They also called it Canes for short. Not the Canes, like the bird, like, like Miami Canes, like in the college, uh, college team. You know about what I'm saying? But Hurricanes, that's the type of the wing that makes it powerful to try to stop them down. Here on the other hand, as you're about to be seeing one of the players of the starting lineups, we have is Ilya Sorokin, then it's Bo Horvath, and Matthew Barzal. Three players got a great heavy motion out there to try to pick up their game streak. And other side we have is Sebastian Aho, Jacob Slavik, and Andrei Shnetsikov. They have a lot of a higher rating out there to try to pick up them from the game. But a look over here, Ilya, Ilya Sorokin has gotten the post-to-post, post, post saves of the game. He also can try to pick up a butterfly effect to go with a good move and control missions with a wild save ability if he gets a little out of control to go right back inbound. With that one, turned out to be just like he does just like last season's game. Bo Horvath has his own ability, quick draw feeds to go right from the from his own edges of the uh, the good face-off win. They have a lot of it in range motion out there. After trading from the Cook Canucks, then their team is deciding to bring one of the Canadian players to play out with the Islanders. So Horvath is the player of, that we all call for quick draw. Matthew Barzell has an Ely Edges, can have a direct changes right from, from the edge point to a break in bound. And Adam Pelich, which calls Stick M Up. He has an Ely defensive stick, can try to lift it from the back and go right for the stick to, to go with the loose puck. And the poke check right away, too. Shutdown is the defending, and Ice Pack is a great shot blocking. Now we go to the Hurricane side. Now for the Hurricanes, we've talked about this. Sebastian Aho has a third eye that has a Perheperol passer. Really seeing it right along the edge. Most of the guys may have to assume that they are just putting a lot of great pack-to-back -back switches. For the, uh, for the pass, open eye keep to go with the tape-to-tape, -tape, magnetic and quick passes. And Jacob Slavin has a shutdown, great rush defensive play to defend the offensive player on the run. There is a lot of them that are going to be a tough matchups, just like the Devils and the Rangers. But now, Islanders and the Hurricanes are ready for the game number one. I will have Southern Beast, and along with the other hand, we have his paintbrush on the other hand, and center ice is Van. I will keep your eyes tuned here for the post game show, so after the game's over, we will find out the three star players of the game and total statistic runs of the game of how they did. Now let's catch you down to PNC Arena to start the game. Here we go. Enjoy the game, folks. It's the battle, the fourth seed and the first seed at PNC Arena. It's game time. Puck about to be underway as me, Son of Beast, along with Paintbrush, this is NHL on Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. 
Players are set. We are ready to take it abound. Now, as the players are coming into a close enemy game matchups, we've seen one of the players as this guy, Sebastian Alco. Sebastian Alco has a got a third eye on control with the player in passing motions. He's able to pick up his plays in, in, in bounding to try to take up the run and up the range. Their play was a tough one to try to succeed it out, and the range is making successful range. Yeah, Bailey with the goal. That is a shocking start. They did not want that one. They should have hold that call and just stop the whistle and play. Well, it looks like a Josh Bailey was able to try to put the foot back, in, and then when he asked the puck, he said, thank you very much. I will take that. Well, for Josh Bailey, he got that one in there. A little disappointment out there. Can't lose it. Focus. Bailey, two-time stop. Now Pesh has the puck here, goes right with the, the clear defense out. Rebounding the puck in front is Skeggy. He goes right over to Pesh. And it's Taravainen. Shot! Stopped by Sorokin. That's a starting goalie for the New York Islanders. Anderson is also a starting goalie for the Hurricanes. They have a lot of techniques for Anderson to try to stop their puck in the run. Their team is definitely in the first number one seed team. But how does it really turn out that they are good and clutch to the playoff title here, Paintbrush? Well, they've always made it that far. They have to stop the player and bound to try to go with the attack. Their motion is very that hard. I don't know what to say about this one, but this is a tough matchup that Islanders are trying to make a struggle out of it to try to hit the inbound the range. We've seen them since the 2018 Stanley Cup playoffs, and we definitely did know that one. It may have been a tough call to go with the lookout chain. Hoping there might be another way to try to stop the run. Sets a call back over to Burns. Cortemini has got the puck right in the corner. Slavin on the outside, back over to Burns. Slavin back outside to Kotemi. Carries it offside, will have to leave the puck here. Paul Mary plays the puck up to the up to the glass board. Back pass over. Kotemi back to Nekis. Nekis in the corner. With a stop! Stop by Sorokin. Martin up, right back to Dehan. Chatfield is outside, back over to Nekis. Nekis with the spin, backhander, stopped by Sorokin. That's a good save here, as Sorokin's got a pretty clever run to stop the game here, guys. There's a tough one that goes stop from in between. They have to tell the truth. When Sorokin was really that play on aggressive drive, he managed to give it a good call out there. That needs someone else to try to stop the play inbound to go with a heavy run. Players are set here in a faceoff. The score is 1-0 Islanders. Stahl wins it. Gives it over to Stahl. Fires the puck in deep. Fastball grabbed the rebound. Dehan to Chatfield. With a move. Slot shot that hit wide right toward the board. Out of the play and we'll have to regroup here as Chatfield will have to try to look for someone else with an open pass. Chatsy with the puck. Trying to move around with the saucer move. Trying to pick up a rebound. It's Payu with the rebound after a stop by Sorokin. Now here's Holmstrom. New York. Flinging the puck up to the glass. Puck reaches out. Now it's Pollock. Pollock right over again to Prayer Ice. Back to Pollock. Page Page. Page in the move. Harris. It's blocked out by Sketchy. Sketchy was able to try to go with the crouch down. He has nowhere else to go. But for now, that appointment. He is definitely trying to keep his range to go back from here. Bailey in the corner now, back to Pollock. Pollock to Pellich. Shot! It's blocked! Rebounded! Bailey in the corner. 
Monte out. Stopped by Anderson. Hook to go inbound. Here's Horvat. It's stop save. Jarvis with the putt. Now back to Carolina's territory. Two Islanders territory. Shatsy. Bad play with a broken pass. Arzal in the, in the move. Moves to the middle. They deflected right to Sketchy with that foot. Bad pass broken here. Zikikas gets guided right around the middle. Carolina back to the offense zone. Gives it to Jarvis. Ajo back over again to Sketchy to Burns. With the quick block, Romanov takes it away for Noze. Puck flags out. Icing is the call in New York. We got the faceoff coming up now. Players are set, ready to take the faceoff in the offense zone. The score is still 1 0 Islanders. Ago wins it. Blocked out. What a play. That really has to go with that show up moment. That block was playing up a foot. Not a very well clean out of it. But they should have moved it around and give a pass back to the other player if they wanted to go for it. If you're playing with the Hurricanes, you got to stick it up to yourself. That's hard to try to deny right from the outside. Morgan blanked out as Anderson picks up a save. Johnston, that's stopped again by Anderson. Ago finds the second call. Such a call, lost the puck. Ago coming back to save it again. In the middle, it's Sorokin with a save. We'll have to stop the play here as Sorokin will carry it from here with 9.09 .09 remaining. Now the players are in ready to take their offense zone to give it up a run. The win puts it up. Thompson right over to Lee. Firing the putt. That goes out of play. The faceoff is coming up. Officials are getting set here to have a face-off ready. Back to him again, and the frozen biscuit is off and on the ice. Gives it over to Lee. The Islanders move into the offense zone to give it another run. Slop on the rack. That's the Han with the rebound. Gives it to Katemi. Katemi goes down. Offside is whistled and only 8.08 remaining. We got a face-off ready to go back in bounds. Pollock recovers it. Here's Marinos with the shot! Scored saved by Sorokin. And Pollock rebounded the other way. Nelson over to lead. Lee in the corner. Pellich, oh boy, that broken up here with the bang. Offside, and now goes to icing on the Hurricanes. Getting pretty tired out there, might need to show some a little respect. Jacob Slavin has given up a another credible run here to give out on a lockdown defensive set. He could try to stop the players here right inbound to go with a heavy defense. With the play inbound, it might be tough to try to stick it from it to go with a heavy look and bound. I'll keep an eyes on Jacob Slavin if he got a good deflection to try to stop by. Guys, look over and it's shot blocked. Stahl lost the pass back to Bailey. Bailey racing towards the offense zone. Now in the offense zone. Burns try to deflect the puck here from outside of his deck. Martin up with the corner. Move around the stick. Rebound up. Sorokin save. He's good on the call. Just going to have to keep his eyes on pressure. Really tough one to call for. Might need to keep an eye on again. Sebastian Ajo really got a good look here to go with the third eye of the, of the game that can try to go with the look. 
He can find the players with the pass look here right from outside. Ilya Sorokin has gone a one to post to post saves of the game. When he keeps an eye on his players, he gives them an eye out to get right from the other side of the zone to try to help him out with the, with the saves of this game. I'll keep an eye on Sorokin and for Sebastian Alco as well. Back to you guys. With the shot, it's stopped by Sorokin. Turbine and kicks over to Ajo. Rebounded by Turbinen. Jarvis will have to regroup the puck here, and Anderson will go out to give it to Jarvis, to Sketchy. In back in the attack, Turbinen gives it over to Ajo. Turbinen to Mayfield. 4 3 to go in the first period, a 1 0 score. Sketchy coming in to take a rebound. Pass broken up, home show to Payne. In the corner, battling for the loose puck. Payne shot, stopped by Anderson. Anderson was able to try to go with it now. Nobody's on him. Nobody is looking for the offensive run to try to stop the play. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You gotta find a cover out there. You don't want to get a defensive breakdown if you want, you're want. you going to try to play on defense. You have to stop the puck. You've got to give it a credit. If you don't have the right man advantage, they're going to be coming in there and then try to stop the goalie. Three minutes to go in the period. Step on. Goes over to Nosen. Holmstrom takes the puck away. Give it up a poke check here. Chatfield. Right back to sets a call. Oh, Mary will swing back to the offense, go right back to the neutral zone, over to Lee. Now Chatfield has it. Pick it in, Bill! And Lee shot, saved me by Anderson. Svechikov right towards the corner of the ball. Right to Chatfield. Shot! Stopped again. Shotzi will try to recover it. Chatfield over to DeHaan. Nelson. And a bad pass is delivered. That sticks over to Shatsan. Fast. Right back over again to DeHaan. We're mirroring down a minute to play in the first period. Still 1-0 is the score for the Islanders. Stahl racing back the offense zone. Trying to deliver it. Shot. Stopped again by Sorokin. Korbat had a puck here. Now Dijon has it. Fast with the liberation. Gives it over to Romanov. Over to Bailey. Bailey in the move. Shot stopped by Anderson. Seven seconds to go. Snatchikov racing towards it. Gonna try to beat it. Stop. Oh, glove save by Sorokin. And that comes to the end of the first period. Great play for Bailey. Has a lot of saving rebounds, but Bailey said, thank you, it's my turn. And he's got it now. Second period coming up after the break. Players are ready to take him down as we got the first period, a shocking moment. Now they're ready for the second period. It's a one nothing game. Glad you have you back with us. Horvath, good stop by Anderson. And the team going with disregression to try to keep the team out of here. When that play goes with a bang, there was someone else going to try to like go with a puck stop. When that play goes right toward the net, it's going to be a hard one to try to stop inbound to go with the run. Jarvis, shot, it's tipped wide with a backhand shot. Now Barzell, stopped the puck by Bailey. Romanov with the puck. Skudgy got it back. Now the Carolina will play on offense zone. That pass is broken up. Bailey, right back to Katemi. Skudgy, right around it. Sentikov, shot, stopped up by Sorokin. Goes again! Sorokin saved, and a little push and a little bit taunting. Gonna have to keep it careful. Players are set, ready to take the face off in offense zone. Score of the New York Islanders is still 1 0. Now it's Pollock with the puck. 
bang out to Palmieri. Hook checked away as Katemi has it recovered. One on one, Palmieri takes it away. Hook checked it, two time stop, but not enough to go with three. Neck is in the corner. Trying to stop the land. Palmieri right back outside. Double man, double play teams are coming in to help him stop the play inbound for the loose puck. Yeah, definitely true. Might have to call for help out there because if you don't know what's going on, there has to be another way to try to stop the play. Fast break, stopped by Sorokin. Burns back over to Slavin. Slavin, fast broken up. Lee has it back. Inching close into the game with only 16 minutes to go. Anderson will have to stop the play here as the players are getting tired out there. Might need to rehydrate it again. Yeah, definitely do. They've got to get over it. They can't be losing anybody else's game. The game is for everyone. Now here's a pass over to Akko. Dehan has the puck here to stop the run. Chatfield is outside. Passing over to Martinux. To Dehan. Dehan! Back it! Stopped up by Sorokin. Coming here to take a help for Martinook. Dehan. Look out! Blocked in front. Step on back over to Martinux. Chatfield is outside. We look. Stall blocked by Parice. He's stopping his big motion to try to turn it over from the side. The net, the block, the shot, nowhere to be going. Gotta need to find a quick look out there if you want to stop the play. Wow, Anderson got a great, great deep one. Martin up, taking a win with no icing on the call. Step on, look around, stop again by Sorokin. Stepan resets. Back to Skeji. Stepan shot. Stopped by Sorokin. Marcel right in the corner of the wall. Barely up. Pass save. Stop on the crouch. That really is going to be an easy call on the defense. That really is giving a good stop right about the lane. Skeji did the same thing too. Says, I'm coming out with you. I'm going to try to stop the one of the players. I can do that. Bailey, rebound again after Anderson saves. Jarvis stopped down. With the third look, going for the eye. It's deflected, and Marinuk's in the corner now on the back. Aho with the puck. With the shot, scores! Aho with the goal. Tie the game up. Easy, clean shot for Sebastian Ajo. With that wrist shot, gives him a good look. The eye on the angle gives him up a good look of a strain. The Canes have tied the game with the Islanders by one with only 12.04 to go in the second period. This is going to be a definitely a tough matchup because the Islanders are trying to make their way to get back in the game. They've never played it here with the current Canes in the postseason. Since many years ago, it was always had to be clear, and it it's not a rival team. The New York Islanders may have proclaimed it to be the New York Rangers, uh, perhaps, because by that point, the players of this one turned out to be a heavy to hit, hit traffic. Now here's Bailey. Bailey racing toward the net, crouched down at the stop by by Anderson. Nekas back inside. He's back to Slavin, back to Burns, shoots in front of that, and it's stopped by Sorokin with the save. Nearing the mid-period, it is a ones in the game. Both players are ready to take him down for the face-off. Nelson wins the face-off. Dobson on the other hand, give it up to Palmieri. Fires the puck up. 
scooped up along the board by Burns. Gives it over to Stepan. The Hurricanes are back in offense zone to give another run. Shots deep back over to Slavin, back to Burns. Burns back to Setsny. Goldring for the shot. Nelson deflected with the shot by Shatsny and goes right back over to the other way. Palmieri flings it. Now it's Shatsny with the puck. Shatsny looking for Wu. Shoots one. That deflected on him and it was deflected off again with a stop of the slap shot. Yeah, he was able to try to stop one. Can't leave it out here. Oh, it put back in there. It's Lee with the goal. That puck turned out to be, it was loose. I have to look at the replay. That Brad Nelson was given off to Lee instead. Without winning this mind, keeping an eyes on a site is not going to stay in put. They're not really a good play to try to keep it out of here. The motion is out, and as for Lee, the puck was able to try to stop the player from going into the net. That's going to be a very tough call if they are going to try to keep him out of range. I'll keep an eye on Brock Nelson if he gets an assist again. Guys, back to you. Fighting for the battle for the puck. Martin back over to Johnson. With eight minutes left. Now gives over to Pelich. New group here. Given a poke check by Sikakis. One time stopped by Anderson. Terrifying in with the puck now, wasting the offense zone. Terrifying in scoops around it here. Sketchy over back to Patch. Taking around the middle. Rebound. Stall. Oh, it just didn't go near enough again. Jarvis back over to Patch. With the wrist shot. Stopped again by Sorokin. Johnson over to Sikakas. Over to Johnston. Back over again to Martin. The Islanders are back in neutral zone to go back in a heavy offense zone. Back's broken up. Jarvis went down back to Romanov. Romanov swings over to Barzal. Back to Sakakis. Got a lot of man rush. Bring the rebound. Lost the puck after Anderson stayed. Marta. Pass to Stahl. Trying to make a move. With a shot. Stopped up again. Put it back in there on the other hand. And it stopped again. Romanov back the other way. Give it off the feed. Rebound. And good stop by Anderson. Anderson was really showing it off his word. The motion of his drive really has to keep on coming. Katami shot. Try to hold it back. Ooh, tight on the angle. Hurban. Flings it over to Bailey. Bailey going in. And it's stopped again by the goaltender with a textbook save. Neckers with the puck. Now in corner. Decided to stop thinking about it. Kurtemi backhand. Rebound it up. Mekis trying to stop. Horvath and Skechikov will try to live her up with the save. Pass back to Barsal. Paka with the poke, but still pulls on. Stop by Kurtemi. 3.15 left to play in the second period. It's a 2-1. Two no, two one. Shooting one. Rebound. Step on. No room for that one. Out of traffic sight, Sorokin with the save. That gives him a good run to stop the run with only 2.50 to go. Players are set to take in the inbound, the inbound for the faceoff to get in action. Tosses up to Mayfield. Well, Mary back the other way. No send back the other way. He gives it over to Stepan. Step on with a stick. Look in front. Oh, Shatsy. The puck went wide. Step on. Almost went to fleck it in there, but it stayed out. Good stop on the play run. And Burns has it back. Burns. Oh, get off of me. 
Really good stop on the call. You're going to have to give that one a good credit for him. Penalty, and that will be called on New York. With the slash on the call, Carolina will get a forced power play in the second period. But the time is winding down. Hurricanes are ready to take the first power play to start. The other hand with the win. Sketchy trying to put the puck down. We're under 90 seconds to play in the first, second period. Shuts a clock back the other way. Oh, here they come. Oh, no, shuts a clock. Shot. Deep fucking off again by Sorokin. Oh, Soroki got a good timing out there. Might have been out there with a heavy look. Score! Tower Martin! It's the Kent Power Play goal! What a motion! What a deliberation to stop the run! Tower is very good out there. Give it up to our great run to give that one a nice power play goal. And now, they tied it up. Turo Vinen, an excellent play on the defension to pick up the run. He has it all down and said, I got it covered. And Turo Vinen helps his team out to give that one a good run. He's got a great stoppage on the breaking of the ankle breaking with the spin motion and try to go with a heavy run on the on the one tee. We'll have to keep an eyes on him for Turo Vinen if he gets another goal. I'll keep an eyes on him. Back to you guys. Turbinen scores again! Two goals in the playoffs! Now cuts the lead up by one! Just only eight seconds. With Turbinen, he was out there to try to stop the run on Sirokin. What a play! The Canes are back in the lead to close the second period of the game. Now with Tala with the win, Bailey coming in with the shot blocked by Pesh. And that ends the second period. A power play goal for Terabinen and two in a row. We got third period coming up after the break. Third period, about to sell things up and get ready for a final game of game one. Here we have right now, it has been a great matchup right in between by the storm of the Hurricane and the Islanders of the home island from Long Island in New York. We haven't seen them playing in the regular season since we haven't spotted anybody taking the goals over and again since last time in the playoffs by 2019. I have to say that this was a very tough matchup in between, but I, I got a call for this one because most of the players got a great higher ability to try to strike it down. I mean, Carolina Hurricanes are definitely a good team. They're a great team. They're already in the first place position. They don't have to choose anybody to get drafted because at that point, they are definitely the best team that they're going for the franchise players to try to stop stock it up with the run. And same thing goes with the Islanders too. Yeah, that's right. Exactly what they were going for. Now, to get back in the season, how will the Islanders do if they have a man advantage to try to take the attack? Well, tough questions. I mean, I don't know what they're going to be doing. By the two players, I mean, of course, it might be going for a different changeup, or they could be going with the same thing. Might be a lot of it defensive. They might be putting out the pressure. We'll have to keep an eye on them if there is another way to try to stack them out. With Romanov lost the puck. Here's Nekas. Take it back to Kotemi. Barzol takes the puck steal. Romanov in the middle now. Bigs it off to Bailey. Flings the puck. Pest rebounds the puck. Carolina back to the offense zone. And Barzell helping the team to stock him out. Put a little bang out there right toward the wall like a bumper car hockey. Almost would have been a car accident out there. Pass. Moving in, not enough to go from here. 
Thompson goes to Horvath. The Islanders are in offense zone to take another run. Stall, oh boy, almost would have been knocked out. Oh, big save by Anderson. Stall down hard on the wall. Stick handling in motion, but can't stop by Sorokin. That'll stop, stop the play here with just only 16-10 to go. It is a 3-2 lead over the Islanders. Players are set right now, getting ready for the face-off. The Islanders are trailing by one, as the Hurricanes lead by one. A lot of heavy matches, going to need to try to stop the run. Bird shot! Hit off the mask by, by Sorokin, still holds on with the save. Here's Burns, back the other way is Slavin. Slavin back to Norton Nooks. Slavin back to Burns. Keeping the puck alive. Gives it the fine stall. In the middle! One timer went hard and not enough to go right from here. Tackers really turning out to be a hard way to go inbound and play. Really hard, not enough to go right from here. Burns regroups the puck here after a bad pass. Martin up right into the, right into the wing. Pollock passes off to Nelson. Nelson in the corner. Flinged away by Slavin. Martin up. Oh boy, gonna get a little bruise out there. And he's gonna accept it. Uh oh. This is not what we all called for. They are doing this too much. Trying to try to stop the run. This is not going to happen well if you're going to try to fight for him to go with a wild defense. And the man down. Players are so much aggressive to take over from in between by Slavin and Lee. I mean, defensive breakdown. I mean, jeez. Wow. That lockdown gave him a heavy time. After a five minute penalty, we have now back to resume the play. It's Stepan. Stepan gives the puck back to Chatfield. Moves back to DeHaan. Right over to Chatfield. Going with the puck. Step on shot. It's a knockout for Sorokin. Nosing. Finds over Shatsy. Back to DeHaan. Chatfield outside. Gives it to Stepan. Stepan lost the puck and couldn't find a man opener. Now Pella just got the puck. Moves back over to Pola. Perez back in the offense zone. Nelson trying to stop one. And Shotzi picks up a rebound after an Anderson save. Fires the puck over to Stepan. Give it to Tarvainen. Oh, the double man was on him, but it was not enough to get over it. Scooped along the board by, by Ajo. Now Ajo's back on offense. Give a pass! Tarvainen! The man traffic went behind him and stopped by Sorokin. Oh, jeez. Looks like Sorokin was able to try to stop one down. Stopping a big save by Sorokin. Dion back outside. Gives it to Dervinen. Dervinen, not to go in. Alvin took the deck and put it back out by Sorokin. Palmier with the puck. Try to give it to Pollock. Shot. Rebound scores. Oh boy, the Horvath got to go with the crease smasher. They're tied again. The way that the play was coming into Horvath with the crease crasher, it does happen. The play was coming in bounds, and he was wide open in net. Anderson didn't have enough time to go right from here. And with that one, it was turning out to be a bad one collision out there. After a play in for the fighting, now they have it back. They're trying to fight for it big. I'll keep an eye here on Horvath if he got another takeaway moment to release it. Back to you guys. Stop by Sorokin. Gives it back over to Skeggy, back over to Pesh. Pass the mid period in the third. Give the 
past the Ajo, and it's too much traffic as it was too close to the net in front. Nekes, all alone! Backhand stopped by Sorokin. Oh, Sorokin was able to try to sneak out. So I had to put a revenge here. I'm not doing this reveal, reveal with a lookout. Nekes stopped by Sorokin. Went behind it from the net. And we'll have to stop here for just 9.04 to go. Players are set, ready to take the face off. The team is looking cup out there. Tie game is released. Now again, pull up. Pull up. Try to fit the defender on Barzell. Pull up back over to Bailey. Leaving it with the poke check. Horvath shot stopped by Anderson. Kutami passing into the neutral zone. Did offense in the Islanders territory. Trying to give it back. Carzel taken away from here. With a 2 on 1. Burns, good stop by the crouch of Pagu to block the shot. That's a great block shot for Carolina. Yeah, indeed. Looking away to try to stop the run on the deck. Burns on the left. Fast rebound. Romanov takes it away after a Sorokin deflection. Romanov tries it again. In the corner now to Paris. Paris shot. Couldn't make the slap shot. He lost the puck and goes back the other way. Passing under seven minutes to go in the third period. Tie game is released. Paris back the other way. Watch out for the hold for Slavin. Goes back over to Holmstrom. Poked it away. Good stop by Burns. Stahl trying to go around him. Battling for the loose putt. Recovered by Burns. Trying to lead back in. And Islanders back into the other way. This regression. Shot tipped wide. Fast. Breaking down the ankle, and he's going to have to get a pace of that one to try to stop the run. He's in that one because there's someone else that could try to go with an attack. Offsides the call on New York, and we got a face-off coming up in the neutral zone. Both teams ready to take the face-off in the attack. Score still even in the game. With the win, here's Mayfield. Chatsy trying to stop on him. Nelson back the other way. Trying to leave the deck out. Flyers the puck and no nose jam will have to regroup the puck here again. Fixing the track field. Aggressive on the attack. Goes to Stepan. Moves over to DeHaan. Back to track field. Gives it to Stepan. Shot. It's tipped off the toe by Sorokin, and the puck stays out of the net. Gives it right over to Shotzi. Right over the man! Blocked up by the defender. Dehan back to Chatfield. Still leaving it out. Look at the man! Oh, tipped out of here. Dehan back to Chatfield. Shoots in front of the net. That is deflected. All the defender it goes. And they're still going. Right to Shotsky. Pass is broken up as Mayfield takes a steal. He gives it off to Nelson. Nelson the lead. Shot. Rebound. Oh boy. Almost would have been tipped in, but it was close call. Yeah, definitely have to tell you that one here. They can't leave the gaps open like this. Aho, third eye, rebound! Oh, it went behind it after a stop by Sorokin. Pass back to Skeji. To Aho. Aho look at the burn, and glove save by Sorokin. We're almost at 90 seconds to play for the third period, and tie score releases. With the call, here we have his fan. 
Sebastian Argo was an alliteration to go with the key moment of the third eye. He gives it off to one of the players here to go for a heavy motion attack. And as for Sorokin, he gives it the post-to-post -post speed with the score inbounding to go with the easy saves on his percentage. The moment he realizes, it gives him a good look to keep the deck on the run. I'll be keeping an eye on Sebastian Argo and, of course, Elias Sorokin on the cover. Back to you guys. Marshall back the other way now. And Puck leaves it carried offside. Racing towards the puck. Recovered it. Looking for open man. Oh man, that Sorokin save puts it back. Not this time. 30 seconds to play in a in a in a regular period. Rebound up! Oh man, that stopped up! And the penalty calls on interference. That goes to the Islanders of Romanov. Oh wow, it looks like they're gonna have to get a call timeout and then get ready because this game is gonna happen now. Power play coming up for the Canes. Decided to go for the lead and try to go with the look. Pellich fires the puck in deep. And now they're up to the team, 20 seconds. They have no time to remain. Now they're in offense right now. Sebastian Ago gives it off to Nike shot. Rebounded. To Burns. Try to stop one. And they will have to lead the deck to end the run in the regulation period. Wow, this was tough out there. Get ready. Overtime six. Overtime coming up as they tied it by 3-3. We'll get you on the extra period in just a bit. As for this part of the game, it's turned out to be an unbelievable run of the fourth seed versus the first seed of the game in the Metropolitan Division. All turns out to be one by one. Back-to-back -back scores for the Islanders and the Hurricanes. There's so much to go right back into it. Something I gotta tell you, this one, it looks like the players have got a lot of aggressive fightingness there in between the two by Carolina and New York. I don't know what to say about this one, but it might be turning out a bigger play in the motion. The drive is just very unpredictable. Nothing else to say about this one, but it's just like a toughest game, then we may have another win to go right down here, right by the two. Well, I have to say this one here for Paintbrush, he was just putting aggressive here to say, what kind of play art is Horford going through? Well, Horford was able to go with that one, an easy rebounding to try to keep back in a, on a possession. They're trying to pick up a game to go with the win. And with that one, thank you very much. That goes out with the Bailey. Or Nelson, I should call that one here. Maybe it was Nelson. And that one did turn out to be a very tough one on the break. Well, now it comes into overtime for the Eastern Conference to try to pick up the gap. As we already seen, the Leafs and the Bolts in the overtime in the Atlantic Coast Division. Now in the Metropolitan section is going to have to find out if they can get the win for the Hurricanes or the Islanders take over game one winner. The decision starts now. Here we go. Overtime about to set down for the Canes and the Islanders. Still a power play. A 4-3 on three advantage could be it. Ajo wins it, overtime's up. Nekis with the start. Decided to go back to Ajo. Wants to give a quick change off to Burns. Ajo back the other way. The third eye! Svechikov with a save! Svechikov fires the puck over again as Burns is in the corner. Kicks over to Nekis. Nekis lost the puck right down on the end. Puck trying to leave it out. And I'll go back again. 35 seconds in the power play for the Canes. I'll go! Over to Nikes! Rebound! It's stopped by Sorokin with the save. 
you can't call that one here because that was turning out to be way too soon to leave the mark out. He's almost ready to go with the wraparound shot. Stop again by Sir Rokin. Now back to the four on four play. Nekis with the shot. Trying to leave the gap open, but nowhere to be found. Nikas, shot stopped by Sorokin. Not a new changeup. Now Islanders are on the offense, taking the time. With the look, Mayfield. Oh, wow. Anderson really got it all. Jarvis with the puck. Gives a fling off to Burns. Pellich with the puck. Gives off to Burzal. Just two minutes to play in the overtime period. Try to pick it up with the poke check. Jarvis recovers it. Gives it to Burns. Burns bang down. Dobson right back over to Barzal. Jarvis trying to stop the game. Kratemi with the shot. Missed it. Stopped by Sir Rokin. Oh boy, this is going to be a hard one to go right from here. I didn't have to tell you that one there. Sir Rokin was trying to stop one in there quickly. They try to go with the pass aggressiveness. They're trying to stop their run for the Hurricanes. With the win, here's Pellich. Trying to go back over to Lee. Just 90 seconds to play in overtime. Here's Barzal. Try to go back over to Dobson. Dobson moving in front. Deflect it off again. Lee. Now Shotzi got a good look out of it. Turbine in. Lee. Oh boy, that Turbine went down. Hucked away. And Turbine is down. Needs to get to the medical quickly. Oh, he's not. He's going to have to find it. To Turbine. Horvath with the step. One minute to play in the third and overtime. Going for the look with a shot. Scores! Sketchy! Game winner! And fans are on their feet. Sketchy wins the first game in the playoffs in the first round. Wow, Sketchy with the run. That gives a win over the Islanders. What a game. Then you call that sketchy, the move around, the breakaway in the chain, that gives him a good look at the buzz beating over the goaltender. Well, a tremendous night, and sketchy gives a celebration to the Hurricanes victory win in game one. Well, as a long for being said, this has been an amazing night. As for this point, the game winner goes to the Hurricanes. A tough run to stop the run over the Islanders. We will get the second game very soon after the first game completion. For now, the three star players of the game are coming on the board as we have another good look of an offense run to give it off to Sketchy on Sorokin. Old time winner with just 54 seconds remaining. That turned out to be just like that with a good goal and release bet. We are not going to have a look over the shootout because that will not be the play that they're going for. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining us here. And this has been a presentation of the NHL on Stanley Cup playoffs. This is Son of Beast along with Paintbrush and Fan. we like to thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the last game of Game 1. We got the Stars of the way and Colorado Avalanche home to play here at Ball Arena. Thank you for joining us, and now we close things off to Meat Bone. Meat Bone all yours. Good night, everyone. All right, so that be a tremendous night here for the Colonel Canes to make a win over the Islanders. With a 4-3 win, it turned out to be like they did here before. A lot of post-to-post -post on the feed that Sorokin saved Turned out to be just like they always have played. And as you can tell by the team, they got a higher rankings in the zone. With the third star, we are going to see what happens now. We've got Turo Tarvinen.
two goals and one hit. Turned out to be a good look opener, just like he did here before in a regular season. The second start goes to Ilya Sorokin. 60 saves and an incredible .948 saving percentage on his board. And your first start goes to Brady Skeggy, an overtime winner, and one assist. Just beat around it, and bang, that's in there. What a play for Skeggy. And that's going to do it. If you're tuning us for the last game, we've got the Avalanche and the Stars. That will be coming up here later, as the next commentator will be Test 2. And the other hand is Lightbulb. Across the ice center, we will have another one to keep an eye on. That will be Silver Spoon. Keep your eyes peeled for the last game as we will have to come and by right toward the game. Thanks for tuning in, and peace out everyone for us a while as the NHL 23 of the Stanley Cup Playoff Dial on EA Sports. This is me, Phone 4, and thank you for joining with us. Second game, the last, coming up in just a few moments. Other than that or not, thank you for watching. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.